This is your Two News Oklahoma Fantasy Football Forecast. Bah humbug. <laughs> this is a bah humbug podcast. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Mike's not going to be on this podcast starting next week, right? so let's just let <laughs> I didn't even get it all out. Didn't even want to show up today. <laughs> my, uh, get it all out. When I told my wife what happened, she wanted me to have you sitting in that chair in the corner for the whole <laughs> oh, the I whole show. <laughs> I love it. It's a great idea. <laughs> it's not a bad move. You know? It needs to be summarily dismissed in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> so our league playoffs start this coming week. Um, I know some leagues differ as far as when they start their playoffs. Our start this coming week, so our regular season is over. I made the playoffs. Caden made the playoffs. We both had the best records in the league, both on bye weeks this year, which or this week, which is good for me. I had, uh, you know, a couple of these, a lot of bye weeks for this late in the season uh, for NFL are, teams. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, got lucky there as far as getting the bye week. Uh, in turn, I get that bye week based off of a Christy Maria win that mm. knocked Mike mm-hmm. out of the playoffs. Mm. Playoffs. That that playoffs. Your team was too good for that, but fantasy's. Uh, Fantasy's, Fantasy's cruel. Cr- it's yeah. cruel. That's that's the word I should have. Well, I mean, for. this week I put you know Dawson Knox with a goose egg. I I deserve that, you know, and and rolling Deshaun Watson out there first oh. back after eight thousand years. You I believe mean, that? He, he looked horrible. Look so good. how you lost by how much roughly? Oh, I mean, I lost by 30, 40, 40 points. I yeah, I didn't stand a chance. I had, I mean, uh, Hopkins was on by, uh, Kyler was on by. Not not that those are excuses. Just that was the reality. Uh, the timing of that though, because I would have expected Watson to have a big day, uh, even though we saw what we saw in the preseason. But I mean, the fella should be fresh, right? Yeah, should, I, I should think be as fresh so? as can be. Facing his old team, I mean, I, I, I'm saying that's a bad Texans team. Yeah. Well, you know, against maybe past defenses, right. they're not they're not bad. That's right. right. They're not bad. I mean, they're still fighting, which is nice. They're they're not good, but anyway, I think actually Deshaun will be. He'll. Be, I'm, I'm going going in again. I think he'll be good this. I'm not playing him, but I think he'll be good this <laughs> week. You're st- you're hanging in there with. <laughs> so, Mike, you know, let's let's talk some regrets. You'd mentioned yeah. the regret about <laughs> this season with one of your trades. Mm-hmm. What what was that trade that sort of well shook things up? You know, I I bought into a player that I did not really believe in, and I never do, even though he's uh, the sixth ranked running back in the uh, fantasy league, and that's Nick Chubb. And um, I traded, and oh boy, did this got this got a lot of hell for this. Uh, I traded um, Trevor. We were in a two QB league, so Trevor Lawrence, Chase Edmonds, Michael Thomas, right. and at the time, Michael Thomas was not. Uh, you know, he was doing well. This is before he got hurt. So you had a quarterback and a receiver for DeAndre, who hadn't come back yet, and Nick Chubb and Dawson Knox. Well, look who lost me this game t- this week. Hopkins lost me because he was on a bye. Knox lost me because he scored a zero. And Nick Chubb because he scored six points. So Trevor Lawrence scored 16. So that one week, this if we just looked at just one week in, in a snapshot, it lost me the week. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it unfortunately Chubb's lost me two weeks in a row um so that that's a regret you know I know on paper it's like oh my god what the heck are they doing but you know sometimes it just doesn't work out we, that way. we all thought you had won that trade when you first told us. oh yeah there was there was a, some mild uproar like how could he make this trade how did that how did he get all these guys that are so good like DeAndre Hopkins and but Chubb if and you everything. noticed I was never the same in my right. second quarterback I had Heineke who was scoring six points and yep. Uh, you know, Lawrence did 24 last week. You know, that's that's a huge point differential mm-hmm. um, that I thought, you know, hey, you know, I, I did, too. I thought this is why I traded because I was like, I'm getting the some studs, you right. know, no doubt. And I'm going to wing it on the QB and, and I'm not ever doing that again. Yeah. Lesson learned. Well, uh, you uh, have talked before about kind of the all wide receiver thing. Yeah. You know, just <laughs> yeah. use the spare parts you got it at running back. Maybe find somebody who catches some passes. Uh, Ryan has done that expertly at different times through the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just put it all into receiver. And uh, you would stay away from Nick Chubb, you know, obviously. under You wouldn't ever trade for that guy uh, if, if you were thinking that way. And it, it would have helped, and I poo-pooed that a little bit. In one of my other leagues, I am absolutely loaded at running back. And as I look at it, I just know, yeah, these fellas aren't going to get it done. No. Right? They're not going to catch enough passes to beat mm. the very best teams. This is a guillotine league, so the very best players all end up, you know, playing for the same three or four teams at the yeah. end. And, you know, ha- and I have Chubb, you know, and I have Jonathan Taylor. And, I mean, those are a couple of guys there, you know, there was name recognition, yeah, obviously, for sort of a naive right. fantasy player coming into the year. 
Uh, but those are not the killers that are going to, you know, I mean, your, leagues are going to be won, especially mm. in that sort of league where it's, you know, not dispersed widely. Yeah. Uh, that league's going to be won by Diggs and Mahomes and Tyreek Hill. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. guys who just Jefferson, put up monster numbers Chase, at, yeah. you know, at the end of the season. Yeah. Yeah. And even, even guys like, you know, like I picked up Christian Watson. You know, after he had yeah. one, he had one good game. That was a difference then, making pickup. And then in one other league, I picked him up like the same week. In that league, I shipped him off. Oh yeah. So Did in you that, trade him? Yeah. Oh, okay. So so in that league, I'm awfully sad. Yeah. This league, I'm I'm feeling pretty good about it. He's yeah. had uh, eight. All touch- he does is catch touchdowns. Yeah, eight right? touchdowns in his last four games, including one when Jordan Love came in for that one game when Aaron Rodgers got hurt. So there's clearly some upside there and that wall is coming though I, well and that's that's what i'm that's what i keep waiting for yeah. i'm like when is when is he gonna hit right. the the one catch mm. three yards and i'm like oh how did i how in the fantasy happen? world you ride the wave until yeah. it crashes yeah. we liked him the very first week they, oh yeah you, but, you know we came on here and just the size looked well, right and, looked and, good rogers has to throw to yeah. somebody and um, he had that like he would the the narrative this year which is the narrative every year with aaron Rodgers, is he doesn't have the wide receivers around him and Christian Watson had that long drop, like yeah, like yeah. in that first game that everybody's right. like killing him for because you know they're like oh well Aaron Rodgers is never you know can never get on the same page with these young guys but I mean it took I don't know what eight eight games yeah, yeah. but it, bit, it but figured it out. So right. there's a guy I really trust, but he gave me a good comparison to to who Christian Watson compares to, and I was like, oh, uh, Martavis Bryant. Hmm. So. <laughs> Yeah, he's big and he's mm-hmm. uh, fast, but the routes kind of suck. Mm-hmm. So if he, most of his touchdowns are just on goes, and sure. yeah, um, it, you know maybe he can develop his craft further down the line and and become the better guy. And, and is I'm, I'm talking dynasty. If Rodgers isn't there next year, sure, it, Jordan sure. Love looked good that that one. Yeah, but you know the it Eagles, was like a quarter. Yeah, the Eagles know. were just playing yeah. kind of prevent. You know, like eh, here, um, you know they they weren't too scared of him. So. Um, Anyway, uh, so that's just caution through the wind in the wind because these that's the thing for fantasy. Have you noticed this year? It's like, man, things are hot and everybody's like, oh, this guy's a stud. Like, uh, oh, Zay Jones was the talk last right, week. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, who the hell is Zay Jones? You're like, what the heck? Uh, so <laughs> fantasy is so by the week, you know? It is. No question. It's hard to keep a step back and look at the big picture. It is. No question. Now, it, you're out. And yeah. that means you can trade me Justin Jefferson, right? Just between you and me, we <laughs> trade that line is over. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I know. Uh, off the table deal. It's yeah. a weird thing, too, because, like, you know, there's a consolation ladder. You know, I'm like, what, what if we do it before everybody's paid up? Maybe there's still a <laughs> chance you make the playoffs and make. <laughs> yeah. It's where there's. Extend that deadline, Kamish. I think this is a good discussion because a lot of people are coming near the end and they're going into, you know, they're only top four, maybe top six in like in our league uh, because we have a bigger Mm -hmm. league, uh, get in the playoffs. Um, You know, then you have the consolation ladder. Some argue that, you know, and I made the argument that you played to the end and I will, but I have to say my interest is, you know, I'm in my other league, I'm in, in first place, so I'm going towards the championship. Um, so, you know, that's what I, my focus is going to be, but, um, what do you all, how do you all feel about that? Yeah. Play it out, man. Yeah. And I get mean, those it, reps, yeah, baby. It's this one of those things like, like I'm, I won't freshman be in a bowl game. I won't be glued to the waiver wire probably yeah, right. in, in a league no. that I didn't make the playoffs, yeah. but I'll make sure all of my guys are okay. healthy playing. You know, I have, I'm still going to be making lineup decisions, but as far as actually, you know, trying to get squeeze as much juice as I can out of it. You know, mm-hmm. at, at that point, What's it's the point. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not playing for you know seventh place. I'm not going to win anything at, in seventh place. Yeah. So in my other league, they they and we might do this next year in our league is they pay uh, the top two scores each week five bucks. And so I mean, mm-hmm. there's still some motivation yeah, like mm-hmm. to like win that. five dollars. I mean, if you think about the playoffs, there's what uh, four weeks, and that's you know maybe mm-hmm. you win twenty bucks out of the deal. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like that. That keeps you engaged going down the uh, rest of the season. Um, I wanted to say, uh, so there are a handful of teams because this weekend had some ugly football. Yeah, a lot it of really was a it's lot of fun. Yeah, no, like, like even our you know list of top performers, while you know <laughs> yeah. had had good games compared to some of the you know huge performances sure. we've had this season. The, this is probably the most besides Jalen Hurts the collection of players who haven't really landed on this list very often this season. Yep. 
uh, with McCaffrey at running back, Devonte Adams at wide receiver, Cade Otten last the fabric night. of our lives. <laughs> How about that? And then the uh, <laughs> the Browns defense, thirty one points that e- easily could propel somebody could have propelled somebody That's into absurd. the playoffs. Um, are you now one of my leagues that I've been in for a while? We eliminated defenses because our league manager hated when this stuff happens. Yeah, yeah. when you win off your defense, you know, in this case three touchdowns for the Browns defense right. slash special teams. What do you guys think about hmm. defenses? I'm not advocating for or against, but. Well, yeah. I'm av- I am against having tight ends. That's for certain. So um, get rid of them. Get rid of kickers. It's ridiculous. The defense is a little hard for me to, to go towards. I, to, I, kicking it off? Yeah. I mean, it's just, a, you know, it's. It's a big. I mean, but it is a. It's a you know a crap shoot every week. So it. it I hate to take. I, I. I wouldn't argue with keeping it because there is a randomness to it instead of a skill factor to it. Yeah. So I can see the argument for. I'm just kind of in the middle. Like, eh, well, whatever. I can't say that I've paid close enough attention to the scores in our league. You know, with regard to mine, this has never happened. I've never seen a 31 point <laughs> performance or yeah. anything who are, even close who are they to playing? it. The the Browns were playing against the Texans. The Texans. Uh, oh, and, that's right. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah. So it's been out of sight, out of mind for me. And it's been they have reduced obviously in at least in our league. You know, whatever the scoring is, they they have reduced it to next to nothing with regard to the importance of in most every matchup. Right. The defenses. Do, I I don't know if I've ever if I've had one score more than ten or twelve yeah. so far this year, and my opponent hasn't had a monster week either, and so. For me, it's like, yeah, why not? Now, if this is happening more than I know, <laughs> uh, that does change things, I, right? Especially yeah. a week, you know, of playoff cuts or whatever. Yeah. Uh, if some, if somebody went home because the Browns scored thirty-one, uh, and your defense had, let's say, a really nice game, but it was only seven or whatever, right, but, right. you know, it, yeah. <laughs> Did they score thirty one in our league? Yes, this is okay. This is, uh, that's PPR. that's really that's impressive because yeah, I is. think I I, t- I watered it down a lot well, this, this is, year. It was standard PPR. Let me check, double check our league. But but that's the thing. Like like our uh, the other league that I'm talking about that I was in, our league manager got uh, he got thirty points or something hung on him by the New England Patriots multiple times in the same yeah, season. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he was like, you know what? I am not. Yeah, uh, it, it's kind of like the tight end spot. I mean, if you got the top one, but even then, I mean, you could go week to week and find matchups and and try to you right know, throw that's, darts. That's what at I it. do. Yeah, I I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I'm glad. I'm excited to hear that because I have the Cowboys defense this week against. <laughs> hey, against buddy. So it, and it was legit. It was 31 points in okay. our league. In yeah. our league too. Wow, yeah. that's 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 a lot. That is yeah. huge. And Ooh. what what is a typical Dallas Cowboys projected score? Well, I mean, they that scored is 21 defensive. last week. Did they against really? Okay, yeah, the Colts. Yeah, yeah. So, because of the available defenses right now, your top projected score is six and a half, which is what I've right. seen all that, year that's long. Ge- I, generally, the standard I just pick average, up a different yeah. one every single week. I, I think maybe I've stuck with the Jets for a little while now, mm-hmm. but uh, it, I didn't realize the Cowboys and Browns were out there putting up numbers like this. Well, that's and it yeah. shows because uh, I go to church and I pray, and that's why the points <laughs> against in our league, if you look at the standings, it's like two hundred <laughs> less against my team than it is everybody else. Yeah. So. I would just recommend that. But see, wait a minute. As I a, go to as church a fantasy on Saturday. Strategy. Saturday before. Apparently okay. doing it wrong. <laughs> That's not doing the Lord's it wrong, day. Mike. <laughs> Sorry, God. I am, uh, I am facing – it's uh, pillow fight every single week for me. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah. That's but, uh, why I'm sailing into the playoffs. Well, that, is, that will, will be a big part, and we've talked about it on you know at least the last show or two uh, about streaming some of these defenses coming down the stretch now that it's pretty established what teams are going to be giving up a lot of points and what teams are going what defenses are going to be scoring a lot uh which prompted me to collect a uh, a top 5 list of teams that I would like to see uh sent into the sun that I just okay. don't I don't feel like uh watching anymore uh-huh I'm uh-huh. I'm done with for this season let's go number so, 5 uh number 5 the okay. New Orleans Saints <laughs> <laughs> I don't need. Did any... you stick with that to the end? Because that was a pretty dramatic finish. But I did because well, uh, I needed. Really? Oh, I needed four points from Mike Evans. I well, gave up the, on that game long, well, and long before. I, this was initially a top six because I had the the Bucks right in there. But, okay, but yep. then the Tom Brady factor changed that for me. They don't sure. have to be launched sure. into the sun. Uh, I am totally with you. Okay, okay. Real quick don't to that it. though, 
I, I didn't even have plans. I thought it was done for the week. I didn't even care to watch football. I sat down. We watched the Christmas or the Cranks with the family, and it was over, and I flipped on ESPN. I was like, oh, the Saints and the uh, Buccaneers are playing. And I looked at our fantasy, and I was like, I was like, I think I'm in playoffs. And I looked at the standings, and I was like. Oh, yeah, it came down to that game. Yeah, well, then wow. I realized, like, oh, wait, I need my friend Adam, who I am playing this week in the first round of playoffs in my other league. I need him to win, which is just the irony of it all. Uh-huh. And I was like, hey, Adam, I need your guys to put up, I think, 19 points, yep. right, between Kamara. Well, because well, I, I was watching that same matchup because Chris winning gave me the bye week. Oh, okay. So I was, so I was <laughs> glued to that, that matchup, Look at too. what happened here in this little booth. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, Ryan gets to enjoy a bye because of your misery. That's right. Well, and I was just playing That's on a nice fun. evening at home. Just we watched Christmas with the cranks. I just turned on while you know we were getting the right kids ready for bed. And I looked. And I look real good at my phone. And I'm like, oh, now I need 19 points. And I was like, well, you know, wife and I were gonna watch Yellowstone and have a nice evening, relaxing evening. Uh, no, that didn't turn out that way. <laughs> no, no. I had to watch is, to the. Is there anybody in. you root for in the show Yellowstone? Is there anybody you like and root for? I can't find anybody. They're all despicable. They're all despicable. They're all despicable. You're right. Yeah. But I know people love the show, so I don't. They do. I'm not coming on this podcast to anger people. I'm just saying. It's a solid show. It's a beautiful show, though. Yeah. I love the. The I love looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But yeah, there's nobody. There's no good guy. Yeah. There's no. There's no good. Uh, Number Number four. 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 Let's send him to the The sun. Send him to Montana. Carolina Panthers to the sun. Out of here. Don't want him anymore. Um, be wait, why are how, we how can these? there be three teams ahead of them? We're, we're sending incredible. them into the sun because I don't want to watch them anymore. We, oh, we yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm with you. We are yes. done. Um, yeah. Ugh. They And by the way, released uh, Baker, Baker Mayfield. Who uh, is potentially going to the Rams. That? Is that, That's what I, is I saw that the I, spot? I, I saw uh, Pro Football Talk, I think, said uh, something about him yeah, going to the Rams. Which signals that Stafford's career is done. Yeah, that yeah, that that's looking Sad. that's looking like a bad situation. And that their you know, their first round pick is with the Lions. So. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> I've been paying attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Indianapolis Colts. Sure. See ya. Sure. Goodbye. No more. Done. After after that fourth quarter against Dallas, done. Yeah. Have, have, have Jonathan have, Taylor in two Jonathan, leagues. Yeah. And I, I'm with you. I am <laughs> sick of watching it. Good. I'm golly. with you, but if you have a Jonathan Taylor on your team, you're going to have to watch that crap. I know. Uh, Just I know. the box score at the end. Let me know when it's over. Yep. Number two, Houston Texans. Out of here. Oh, yeah. Gone. Uh-huh. Don't uh-huh. need anything from yeah, them anymore. You got their defense. They're, 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 not, I mean, they're yeah. not even playing Damian Pierce as much as they should be. Which is just bizarre. Yeah. And they um, brought in a bomb or you know, like, <laughs> and and they got Kyle. They just keep throwing. They sat Davis Mills for Kyle Allen, which is the like I don't know if that's an upgrade downgrade. I don't. You can't tell. You can't tell. Um, I need for Christmas. I need a montage of Mike mispronouncing names <laughs> from this podcast. I would love it. Um, and the number one team. That I am ready to send into the sun. The Rams. The Broncos. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Yes. Get out of here. Get out of my life. Uh, yes. Are the Rams on that list? They're, they're not. They should be. Yeah. They, I think that I think they've managed to just avoid like being at time like playing at times. Catastrophic and, bad. and in games yeah. where it's like I don't it's not even close, so yeah. I don't have to worry about it. Well, hold on. Let me t- Thursday night we have the Rams and the Raiders. Ooh. Terrible. Who the heck wants to watch that? Well, like, Josh Jacobs fans here. Oh, in yeah. Tulsa. I right. like Josh Jacobs. He's leading had, leading that, the Yeah, he's, he's been had a phenomenal. Good year. Yeah. In fact, I could have had him or Chubb. I I wouldn't need to pay just a little bit more. I settled for Chubb in another league. Mm. Ooh, buddy. Mm. Ooh. Uh our old friend, friend of the pod, uh former Two News Oklahoma Sports anchor Jacob Toby now works in Denver. Yeah, and he said, "I mean, it is a Broncos town, right? Going yeah, back yes. for decades. Yeah, love that stinking team." And the Deion Sanders to Colorado thing led every newscast Sunday instead, instead of, of the Broncos, which is completely unheard of. And I joked that like next week they should use women's basketball to lead over the Broncos. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, literally anything. Let's, like, let's make a point. What, what is, let's make yeah. a point here, people. What what is Nikola Jokic do, doing on his lunch break? Like <laughs> like something of that nature. Let's break in with yes. it. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, or men's basketball, anything, <laughs> all of it, all of it. Um, so yeah, the Broncos. Oof, that, that was you know, big wolf. washed Russ. Um, one more question while you're still yes, around, because I know you got to run. I'm heading to a press conference. Um, we got a big one at TU today. That's right, uh, new TU head coach. Um, is Samaj P. Ryan the best backup Ooh. running back in the NFL? Is he the best back on his team? 
<laughs> well, there's, there, there's that too. Which, it's if you're a mixing good, owner, you should be a little concerned because we they, saw this last year. P. Ryan got a lot of play. Oh, yeah. And it held Mixon down. And I think this only reminded uh, the Bengals, like, well, you know, kind of got to maybe keep them both out there. Well, I, and fantasy wise, like, I've noticed P. Ryan's numbers way more than I was noticing Mixon's early on. Like, sure. over these last sure. three games. And I, I, sh- I surely it's because I didn't pay attention to fantasy uh, for the first 40 years of my life like I have this year. Uh, but I didn't realize he had done this last year. I did, to me, this is the best he's ever looked or played as a member of you know a National yeah. Football League squad. And he's built for this league. I mean, I, th- I thought that coming out of college, I was surprised by how long it took for him to get carries and get a look. I know some of that was injuries. But I think they absolutely need to have a plan going forward for both of them because depending upon the defensive matchup, Either one of them could be the more effective oh, yeah. back, and in some weeks it. it's going to be P. Ryan, I think. And that makes it hard for you know guys who who are probably hoping that Mixon's going to be coming yeah. back for the playoffs. Mm-hmm. If if you've got P. Ryan more in the mix than he had been early on, you know it's yeah. a, it makes that a tough decision. It, be, it becomes a situation where it's a really great offense with two yeah. great players, and you're scared to play either one of them, kind of right. like Pollard and Zeke yes. with the Cowboys, where you know it, one of these guys is going to go off and burn me this week, but I just don't know. Right. Who to pick? <laughs> Maybe a runner-up to that is Alexander Madison, who I want to say, did you see him score the touchdown last weekend? No, I didn't. Okay, this was bad because we had the Vikings on watching Justin Jefferson. Al- I thought it was Dalvin Cook that scored the touchdown. I was like, oh, Dalvin oh, scored. Yes. Now I know, yep. Yeah, yep, and it was same. Alexander Madison, right. and he does his little dance. And my kid's like watching Justin <laughs> Jefferson do the gritty, right? right so right. we were like, oh, is he going to do the <laughs> – uh-huh. Yeah. What on that was, God's that greener? was trouble. That was my five year old <laughs> and eight year old are uh-huh. replicating that oh, dance no. now. Oh no. Because I'm oh, like no. I'm like, no, no, no. We don't do because well actually when it was happening, I was like, Oh kids, look away, look away. Yeah. And they were like, What? Yeah. No, it's so time they're to like watch, it's time to watch Bluey. Yeah. This is Uh oh. Jump the shark. <laughs> X rated <Pumped> the shark. <laughs> yeah. It was it was trouble. That it, was trouble. Th- that was embarrassing. It I was. mean like I hope they find I you know, I don't I'm normally like you should celebrate and have fun, do your dances, mm-hmm. whatever. That's mm-hmm. that's cool. Spike the ball, blah, blah, blah. But that watch it with kids watching. Call even, the police. E- yeah, that's right. <laughs> Call the police. Even before first take existed, somehow the Randy Moss mooning of the crowd at Lambeau became like an international incident. Yeah. yeah. This <laughs> was far, <laughs> far, far worse than that ever was. Exactly. Far worse. Uh, yeah, so that's who that guy was. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, you got to get no out good. of here. I do, I do. But uh, it was fun this week. Brings a whole new term, <laughs> better, the best backup, you know. <laughs> <laughs> tell uh, tell so Kevin Wilson we said hi. Line. Yeah, hey, you, you got it. tell uh, old Kev. <laughs> nice right. to meet you. So let's get into just a handful of lineup, injury, pickup sort of talk. Um, Lamar Jackson, you're – they uh they upgraded from your favorite t- term day to day to week to week, <laughs> which um, but thank it, God you know yeah, finally right. <laughs> I mean yeah. finally somebody brought some sense to this. <laughs> He's week to week, and that's a good that's good. Which I think what the terminology is day to day equals week to week, week to week equals month to month, month to month equals maybe out the whole season. Yeah, and so and they did say he specifically suffered a PCL a sprained PCL. Which that you know, according to Adam Schefter, sidelines players usually one to three weeks, which is a tricky timeline, one to three. But obviously, that dramatically impacts uh, playoffs. Playoffs. Um, we needed that soundbite. I know. I, I you if, know, every time. You yeah, play, if I could so. find a way to clear that with everyone, yeah. then I would definitely have that in the uh, in our machine here. Tyler um, Huntley. I mean, some right now will say he's better than Lamar. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I see you point. You know, last year you had thirty four five point nine in one game. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, that's like I know he had that. That was his like coming out party, and he yeah. was like, "Oh, why don't they trade him for some yeah, huge? Because right. any team would take him." Yeah, and, no, nobody but, wants him. But yeah, it's it's from Lamar ja- uh, Lamar Jackson this year. It's not that much of a downgrade it's because not, he hasn't had a big year. But that's because the Ravens suck, right? And that's they just see even though they're still in competition for that division overall they have not had an impressive offense like you imagine them having. right correct um another quarterback issue bro- jimmy g broken foot he's out for the season brock purdy came in played pretty well in, in relief i trustworthy and fantasy wise i wouldn't think so um they have a lot of weapons but it's the defense on that team that really keeps them in games you know there's a lot of jimmy g haters out there i i know there are yeah for, for somebody who's 
gotten them to a Super Bowl. Yeah. And in in gen- one, he's he was having his best season of his career this year. Yeah. And he he's never been the reason that they were losing. No. You know. Yeah, I, and they wanted to get rid of him. I mean, like I don't know. It's 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 a weird dynamic. People just do not like the dude. I, I've noticed it really surfaced because of his injury. They're like yeah. uh, even an old uh, Eagles, uh, even Cleveland Browns general manager was piping in like, ah, this was predictable. He's never made a full season in his whole career. I'm like, <laughs> how, do you, how do you predict a broken foot? <laughs> I know. And it might not even that be that bad. So, right. <laughs> uh, you know, it's weird. I kind of feel bad for Jimmy G in a way. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Especially like because, again, he's going to go into another offseason where it's like, OK, where where was my job lie? Am, yeah. I, am I going to be back for the Niners? Is somebody am I finally going to get traded? What's right. Did you hear rumors that he, he was potentially? when they traded the Dolphins no I yeah don't. so that he brought that out when because they played the Dolphins so he was you know saying oh there was a potential I was going to be traded the Dolphins which is really weird because didn't uh, Mike McDaniels uh, say to uh to uh, like you're my guy here's he did, your yeah. 700 why was he trying to trade well, for- and, uh, well and I don't know if it was the regime before Mike McDaniel perhaps yeah because that regime was clearly like it that whole scandal about trying to sway Tom Brady and get Sean yeah. Payton in there like that whole weird thing True. that was reported and they lost their first round pick right so maybe it was that regime that was constantly just trying to poach quarterbacks from <laughs> which from is other insane because two has been fantastic oh yeah he's been great I, I yeah. don't I don't get mm-hmm. it but I think they're you know entering this year there were you know legitimate questions about Tua just because he hadn't been consistent but in that offense he was poor coaching right exactly (laughs) like like Brian Flores was clearly more of a defensive coach and their defense is not as good this year but that offense is just you can't you can't replicate something like that did Flores ever get hired anywhere else he is he's working with the Steelers I don't know if he's a defensive coordinator or just a position coach I'd have to look yeah and we won that lawsuit and all Mm -hmm. yeah yeah um and then so one other big injury, Kenneth Walker, foot strain. Mm. It's one of these one of those situations where all of their running backs have a- yeah. injury issues. Uh, I saw yesterday Travis Homer might actually have a good chance to play this upcoming week if Kenneth Walker is out. But it's one of those things like you're gonna have to monitor every day. You know, I f- I feel bad, man. I say this now, but because I face Kenneth Walker, uh, and I'm kind of <laughs> happy that I face him. But n- come next Tuesday, I might be banging my head. Um, but the thing though is, is that Kenneth Walker. I don't. If I had him, I wouldn't trust him. You know. I mean, yeah. like if he's out there, I'm like, hey, he's probably hobbling. Because that, I don't know. It just didn't look good. You know. Yeah, and that, they, the Kinda way they described it, like I put foot strain here, but they've said it a couple different ways. And Pete Carroll will like literally said in his news conference, like I haven't heard quite of this injury before. Yeah, <laughs> so it's a little strange. It's never good. Yeah, that's never good. Um, hey, real quick, you know, we talk yeah. about defenses. Finally, I'm gonna give Bengals the props. They totally bracket coverageed uh, Kelsey last they week. They did, yeah. And shut him down. Oh, they did, yeah. And and they, then he had nobody else to beat him. Right. The, so yeah, it, that was the the weirdest part about watching that game was seeing Kelsey just not be able. Like you could, you couldn't even get him the ball. Yeah. Because they were so all over him. Right. So which as, is as as we've talked about the last few weeks is finding a way to cover that best player. They actually found a way to do it, which I mean might. Might spell trouble for Kansas City going down the stretch if other teams are looking at, like, okay, this is what we do to stop Kelsey because it clearly hindered that offense. How did it take this long? Right. But whatever. <laughs> uh, but, you know, then you got Devontae Adams still going off for 37 points. So well, it's like, hello. Again, like I said it a couple weeks ago, and it, it keeps happening. All of his touchdowns, he is wide open. Yep. Like, there's nobody yeah. near him. I know. It's insanity. <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> I don't get it. And then and then we let uh, Justin Fields run for an 80,000-yard yep. <laughs> touchdown. Yep. I mean, like, a lo- have we not been watching what he's doing? No. Now, yeah. listen, there is – look, you know, skills involved, and he's fantastic. So, oh, yeah. You know, like, these, gonna, these are top-tier players. Yeah, and it's going to happen. I get it. Um, but when you have – uh constantly every single week that's when i'm like yeah. <laughs> come on guys this is the nfl yeah. um so a lot and one thing to look out for a lot of uh bye weeks this week um yes, which, is, which is especially tricky for us being in the first round well, of our some playoffs of you are, yeah um, <laughs> um bye weeks atlanta chicago green bay Indianapolis, New Orleans, and Washington, all on bye weeks, which, you know, if for not even just for fantasy purposes, but in the real league, like this is, that, those are late bye weeks. See, and it kind of stunk because in my home league, I was, uh, I was trying to tank a little bit just to get a lower seed so I could play the guy that's missing the Green Bay Packers right. on his team yeah. and, and, or, 
the other one that doesn't have Justin Fields, you know, right. like I was trying to get him. <laughs> no, I get the one with, uh, you know, Chase and Burrow. Right. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Because if I get to at least the championship round, then you yeah. can win some money. And even right. if you come in second, you're still winning a lot of money yeah. and whatever. Mm -hmm. So um, I never thought about that. Like, I don't know if I've ever tweaked, tweaked my lineup ahead of uh, – trying to pick a playoff matchup but i feel like i'm always like on the edge it's weird because you want to win right. but you don't i don't know it, it was tough because i i played deshaun if in my other league i played deshaun watson even though if we, it was the playoffs i would have not have absolutely not have played him i don't care i would not right. have taken that risk yeah. but i was like i'll take the risk if he boom gonna, or bust. yeah if he sucks yeah. uh, it won't hurt me to go down right <laughs> <laughs> but no they all didn't yeah. work out um, and then some pickup options we already talked about. Some defenses, obviously, the, with the Cowboys yes. uh, playing the Texans, and then Raiders the at Rams. Raiders. You know, maybe you trust that Raiders defense. Maybe you don't. It. I mean, I mean it's not a bad idea. They're playing the Rams. If the so. Chiefs are out there for some reason, pick up the Chiefs. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Because um, they we talked about they have a pretty good stretch run uh, coming down uh, these next few games. Mm -hmm. uh, couple other names to look at dj chark had a really slow start to the season and got hurt chark, ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> <laughs> this guy like never goes away it's hilarious and then uh you know the last couple weeks he's had at least nine points which may not sound like a lot but when you're dealing with bye weeks and you're looking for a receiver that's somebody who you know you could take a chance on again another guy who might maybe boom or bust sort of one of these long you didn't put on guys. ron st brown up there in the top performers well he didn't outscore Devonte adams it was How, close he like 30 it was like 34 i think uh, see yeah. this is stupid <laughs> he is not justin jefferson okay yeah this is what you this that stuff just boggles my mind you okay. know like I've got Stefan Diggs and Justin Jefferson, and they, you know, they do great. But then I got, I if I'm playing against Amon Ross St. Brown, who's, I mean, what the hell? <laughs> oh, you yeah. know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go. Hopefully, nobody in my other leagues is listening. I doubt they are, but I'm going to go pick up Aquinius St. Brown. Whatever. Oh yeah, get the brother. Get his brother. I mean, why not? <laughs> he had a good game this last. He game. did. I'm yeah. going to go pick him up and just sit there because it's just stupid like oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and then another Lions receiver, Jamison Williams. I know a lot of people have been stashing him on their bench because he there was a lot of promise there coming out of Alabama. He only he did play last week, only had eight snaps, no catches. So they're definitely trying to work him. Dan, sure. Dan Campbell actually said they put him in. They had him slotted to go in at Gunner on punts. Why? I, they well, they didn't punt, so it never actually happened. But he said that that was their plan. <laughs> okay, hold up. Yeah, I don't. Now wait a minute. I don't know if that's. Just I like to be Dan like, Campbell, but that's got to be the dumbest move. Well, that, yeah, your that's first dream, round pick. Yeah. Did he? Was he joking? Seriously, I don't think Dan Campbell jokes. I need to look that up because <laughs> that would be a you know really stupid dumb right and that's decision. you know that he it's one of those things he says that everybody laughs and then you wonder i think he, he had because because he, he said well we had him in there at gunner but you know we didn't we didn't mm, punt so i don't know i i mean hey you know your lines and i'm not trying to you know no, we're yeah, just chatting here yeah. like that just seems like <laughs> mind-boggling because i remember yeah. At the draft, watching him make that selection. And, and at the draft, they talked about, oh, he could potentially be ready for the beginning of the season. Like, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. who got that info? I know. That was – well, that's the, they, at the very least, were like, okay, he'll be back, like, mid-October. Yeah. You know, and, yeah, not so much. And, it's you know, it's a good sign that he was actually playing NFL snaps – but yeah, they didn't throw his way. He, you know, no targets, nothing. And that and that kind of boggles my mind too. Like, why not? You got, you know, this. That's first... a, if he's good enough to be out there, you'd think he's good enough to be used. Yeah, and they were winning by, you know, right. It's never, it was never close. Um, we we got to talk about Travis Etienne right now. I'm I'm disappointed oh, yes. in him. Mm -hmm. uh, I, the Jaguars are are just. I can't trust them. It's very it's really strange to watch them navigate some of these games because they they always get down early yeah and then they're trying to you know work their way back and they play close games until the last couple of weeks and then it you know hasn't been very close but. yeah and then you got the titans you know uh derrick henry uh, averaging two yards per carry yeah i mean he's gonna get some tough teams and they've all sold out to stop the run Tannehill hasn't helped him out too much, and you get down by twenty. That's not their. That's not their way. And then they fire their GM, which is yeah, curious timing on that. 
after AJ Brown, you know, know yeah, it reminds right, you, yeah, right after he burns you, <laughs> wipes yeah. it in your face. Yeah, very uh, interesting. I think that. what that the owner saw was, hey, uh, we've got an aging running back here, uh, and we just lost a young stud who could have been the franchise guy. We've got this older quarterback. We traded for Julio Jones last year, who. Where is he now in Tampa Bay? Barely, yep. you know, I mean, mm -hmm. we've, they made some weird, they made some really weird to see their yeah. first round pick is not even in the league. Right. It, it It's just a, like a fairly strange, like the, they're built more uniquely than any team in the league, sure. which it, isn't a good thing. And I, right. And I think the owner <laughs> saw, I don't want this guy dismantling this right. and rebuilding it. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. this isn't. I don't know who's the. I mean, can Derrick Henry? I don't think these are Derrick Henry problems. Maybe he had a little foot issue, and it's maybe right. slowed him down just a little bit. I think maybe you could get one more year out of him. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think you can still keep building your whole offense around him. I don't know. Does that make you nervous? As like, like if you had him in a league, be, be becoming like, is this? Is he? He's still going to be your keep, like a keeper for for next season. I, I don't think so. I don't really? think so. Yeah, I, I think you know, like I got Tony Pollard, which who will be a free agent, so it'll be interesting to see where he goes. I think Dallas will pick up Bijan Robinson, um, and so that will make a, that will probably make Zeke. Maybe they'll keep on hold of Zeke because they got him for three more years in contract, just as that veteran, and let Bijan work himself in and let Tony go. Um, you know, uh, I think the cost for most dynasty people uh, have, uh, you know, it's time to let Henry go. And, you know, and then allow them to maybe be drafted by people at a cheaper rate. I think that's probably where they're going to go with that. Uh, but you know what? It, it's a good question. And that's something you have to figure out in the offseason. Can he, you know, I mean, look, he's championship Henry. Can he carry you one more, one more year? Right. And, the, you know, I think they still have the, the Texans on the, on the schedule. They so, so there will be, there will be a resurgence of some kind yeah. for sure. Well, <laughs> you know, this week uh, they have the Jaguars. Uh, so that should be interesting. That should yeah. be allowed mm -hmm. room to run. Um, I, I, the, they need to open up their passing game a little more to give them a little more space because all they do is put every you know these defenses finally figure a little stop Henry, <laughs> right? <laughs> put everybody there. <laughs> yeah, um, but Traylon Burks has looked good. So I mean, yeah, you know, it was yeah, unfortunate no. he got smacked upside the head. Man, that like that that's a fireable offense that that kind of hit you yeah know, like it was just that was brutal or you we get crab hands afterwards it's yeah. it's never a good look um and then one other name i had here james cook who it's one of the the buffalo backfields is a little tricky because singletary has really good games and then mm -hmm. he has games where he totally disappears uh james cook did have 105 yards against new england and ha had i think he had maybe one it, the difference between snaps is maybe one or two with singletary so Again. I think Singletary is a free agent after this year. I think oh, if I'm just yeah. saying yes, uh, you know, like we did this last year between um, between Singletary and uh, Moss. Yep. You know, there was that back and forth. Uh, but you know, James Cook is is uh, you know a little brother to Dalvin, so right. You know, he's yeah. a little smaller, but still he's he's feisty. And yeah, I mean, if you can grab Cook and maybe give it one more game and see how it trends. Yeah, that's a, again with with these bye weeks, there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of moving and shaking. A lot for, of moving and shaking. Not us. I. I'll be just sitting <laughs> watching. I am. Let me just say this. I'm disappointed. Um, I thought about it after. When you're in multiple leagues, it's tough, and you know this because you're in multiple leagues too, to put the same amount of energy in every single league. Yeah. You know, and when you're excelling in one league, the other one you're just kind of like, you know, not really putting all your energy into it. And now I'm like, dang. So next year I've learned my lesson. Right. I'm not, I'm going to take it a little more seriously and put a little more effort into it. And it sucks how the luck, the, the tie, I tied and I lost. Yeah. That sucks. That does suck. So rule <laughs> to you out there is stack your benches this week. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, for us here at Channel 2, Sunday night football is Miami Dolphins at LA Chargers. That should be a, that should be a pretty good one. Uh, All right, let the, me ask you this. Should I start Keenan Allen or uh, Keenan Allen, Travis Etienne, or uh, that's my options? I would lean Keenan Allen. He, mm -hmm. he had 14. Like he didn't obviously he didn't get all. Of them, but he had 14 targets yeah. last week, and the, targets. and then finished. Obviously, had that huge pass toward the end that that touchdown pass to him or Devonte Smith. 
I'd still go Keenan Allen. I, think. I would too. Yeah, um, I agree with yeah, you. That'd be my. That'd be. My, I've. I've been two leagues. I've been. I've been riding him since he's been back healthy. Yeah. and it's been. It's been working. He's. He's a safety valve for yeah. him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, but that touchdown, the, the fourth down catch, was a miracle. Catch, right. So, <laughs> right. <you know>. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a. It was a smart veteran move where you know the rule is if your short routes aren't make it, you go long, and that's yeah. what he did, and mm-hmm. he bailed, bailed out his oh, quarterback yeah. and got the touchdown. So. Like I said, Dolphins at Chargers on uh, Channel 2 this Sunday. Woo woo! Uh, playoffs are starting. Yeah. For some. Playoffs. And, uh, not for me. <laughs> in your other, other league. In your yeah. other leagues. So that's why I'm not too. Or I, I just wouldn't have shown up today. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so uh, for Mike Collier, Cade McFarland, I'm Ryan Love. Good luck, everyone.